MGT what it do it's your boy Moody Star and I'm back again with another video if you new, you already know what to do man become a subscriber like the video and join MGT this is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk in this beautiful fucked up sideways ass matrix now first of all I gotta say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy going within and being high vibrational here at MGT this is what we do bro we work on ourselves every single day all right so I touched on this subject a few months ago. I'm going to talk about it again because I literally experienced this shit last night. And, bro, the glow is real, okay? You re you retain your energy. You do what you do. You kind of maintain keeping yourself in a, in a good vibration, bro. You're going to start glowing like never before, okay? So last night on some casual shit. And, and, and the thing about it, too, when, I talk, when I'm talking about glow, I'm talking about literally, like, you don't have to put on shit. You don't have, like, bro, right now I look, I look rough as shit. Everywhere I go, men, women, and child, they notice me. You feel me? So two things that I'm going to talk about in this particular video. The glow and your magnetic feel. Like, people will literally feel your presence. People can't naturally feel your presence, right? But a lot of... The, the reason why I say it's very important to work on your inner world and to really master your sexual energy is because it has a lot to do with electricity. We are electromagnetic beings so with that being said whether we know it or not we react to things that we can't really see with our eyes like before shit happens we are already getting signals like okay somebody's gonna come to work with this type of attitude or or you're gonna get a good feeling like it's, it's gonna be a good day today you know what i'm saying usually when i walk outside i always check the forecast with just my energy field i go outside I smell outside, first of all. I see, okay, is it going to be hot? Is it going to be cold? Is it going to be, you know what I'm saying? And usually I could tell how my day is going to go, especially early in the morning. But even if you go out like 12, 12 o'clock, I remember one time I woke up and I thought like, like, I thought like it was just so much shit going on outside. And I went outside and it was like so fucking peaceful. You feel me? And that was, I don't know if it was just like my energy picking up different, like, um, the other energies that, that I probably may have, may have possibly, uh, will cross paths with in my future or not. But I know it just brings more of an awareness to me about how I can move this vessel while I'm in the matrix. You feel me? So people, people are going to feel your presence. You retain your energy. You have more of your God life force energy with you at all fucking times. No matter how you look, no matter if you got a haircut two years ago and you look motherfucking like a homeless person. I always say this, though. If you can if you can still at least look a little bit, at least kept together and at least just look clean just period you feel me it don't matter what you got you don't have to have the most expensive shit but if you pride yourself on just keeping yourself together bro i mean it's completely over for the rest of the fucking matrix and all the rest of the women that are in your vicinity in your city in your town in your state you are going to attract them and not only are you going to attract them bro like you don't have to dress up you don't have to do nothing extra a lot of these niggas got to buy chains and goals and they got to do all this extra shit to enhance their to enhance, I guess, their image. And a lot of times, you really wonder, like, what are these niggas is really compensating for, bro? Niggas be having daddy issues. Niggas be having mama issues. It be so much issues, bro. Now, this is why I say retaining your energy literally ties with almost everything in your fucking life. You start with yourself. You start with managing yourself, your energy first, bro. Now you're gonna, th now you're gonna realize, like, damn. Okay, I have a problem or I have an issue with this person or that person or an event that happened in my life. Most people don't even know, like, y'all, like, we do shit every day out of, like, from a, from having a traumatic experience. And we can never really cope with those traumatic experiences. So we say, like, this is my image now. This is what I'm going to do now. You feel me? Retention literally exposes who you truly are, like, on a personal level. So... When you're operating from a realm where we can't even see with our eyes, bro, it takes a lot of like life force energy to literally go back to be vibrating between here and that world, that in that world, back and forth, back and forth. So when you are in this world and you happen to be around other groups of people, bitches gonna break their necks. People are gonna wonder like, where do I know you from? Why am I so drawn to your energy? It's something about you. Every time when a female is talking to me, be like, I don't know what it is, but it's just something about you. 
Do you know what that is, though? That's the glow. The glow is real. You get what I'm saying? Because you are, like, you are literally, like, becoming the physical manifestation of God himself. And I'm not trying to sit here and compare myself to be, oh, I'm the most saver. No. You feel me? Because everybody has access to the same shit. If you're a human being and if you can reproduce this shit, you have the same access, bro. You have the same access. And it's not about putting anybody on a pedestal. I just know for a fact from my from my experience, you know, like, especially as a recent, bro, like, you know, I, I just be getting unwanted attention. People be saying like, oh, you look, I love your hair. And bro, my shit, bro, y'all know my shit, my shit look crazy right now. Having people come, oh, I love your hair. Oh, I like, I like how you smell. Like, yeah, I do. I, I be smelling good or whatever, but I'm so, it like, when I went to, when I went to the spot last night, it was just, I only stayed in there. I only stayed in there for probably like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, bro. The chicks that was staring at me, I mean, when I say it was bad as fuck, bro. It was bad as fuck by my standards and probably more, more other people's standards too. I don't know if these females was actually low vibrational, but if I wanted to like judge a book by its cover, it seemed a little low vibrational because, you know what I'm saying? One chick, her ass, Dana was hanging out her shorts and shit, but she was on your boy. She, she made her, and that's the thing about women, bro. They'll see you if you're in a setting, they'll see you. And they will work their way around so you can see, you know what I'm saying? So you can see them. So you'll be like, what type of nigga is this? Like, is he going to say something? Now, mind you, I ain't say shit because right now I ain't on shit. Like, I, I want to continue to stay in this, like, tunnel vision mode because I haven't really accomplished nothing. You know, yeah, I'm getting little stuff here done, little steps. And that's what's going to happen with you in your life. You just know once you get to a new level, there's something else that you have to do in order to maintain being on that level. And... Bro, it's just a beautiful feeling, bro, when you can just, like, live in your light, vibe, and let the energy speak for itself. The energy will speak for itself. Men, women, and child, they will recognize greatness. They will feel your presence. You are more magnetized. And this is all from within. You're not drinking no secret elixir. You're not doing, you're not doing no type of enhancements. Like, one of my homeboys, bro. My dog stayed getting some pussy all the fucking time. And he told me today, he was like, yo, I've been practicing SR for the first time. Like, you know, I'm on three weeks. You feel me? I'm on three weeks of practicing SR. And he was just telling me, he was like, bro, I didn't know I was asleep, bro. He was like, bro, like the emotions and just like, even if when he goes into a building, like people feel him first, people will come to him and start talking to him. You know what I'm saying? Because they feel, they 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 smell, they feel that life force energy. They there's life there. Motherfuckers be born as hell, dog. <laughs> like motherfuckers, and the reason why people be born as fuck is because they they haven't exercised their creative side. They put their creative side all into sex, and it, and it gets drained. You get what I'm saying? So y'all boys just think about that shit, bro. If my dog could get on SR, yeah, I know you could do it too. And he and he's experiencing the benefits. And just imagine, bro. Imagine if you're already in shape. Imagine if you're already attractive. Imagine if you already got the money. Imagine if you already have the house. Imagine if you already have the car and you decide, you know what? Let me let me practice. Let me let me step into my God light. And let me and let me really, really kind of live my true purpose. That's God status. Like it's you the your accomplishments, not to make them seem small. But your accomplishments, you're going to be like, cool, I accomplished this. But retaining your energy, uh, it literally, you're accessing a part of your brain that's going to open up and see reality in a totally different light. And your reality is just going to keep expanding, just like your, your energy field. The more energy you have, you retain, the more your presence is going to expand out more. So every time, bitch, you could be in, you could be on one side. You could be in the grocery side of fucking Walmart and the bitch will be able to see, will be able to feel your energy on the other side of Walmart that's in motherfucking, they're probably looking uh, at home, home tools or some shit. Dog, this whole, this whole world is magical as fuck. It's the shit that they ain't, it's like, they ain't really teach us how to really go about living our true purpose. And not only just living our true purpose, but like living in, in abundance. Everybody's so motherfucking like, 
oh, nah, you can only have a little bit of this or you can only have a little bit of that or, oh, it's scarcity mindset or like, damn, food shortages, all this other shit. No, everything is infinite, bro. Everything is already abundant. Question is, what type of abundance lifestyle do you want to live? Do you want to live in abundance where it's like you, you, you're you thriving or do you want to live in abundance of low vibrational activity where you continuously drain your energy? Just know when you do hold on to that energy though, that's like your secret weapon. You feel me? You glowing hard. And you gonna glow like you like you have a girlfriend. Bitches gonna think that you have a girlfriend. People are gonna, gonna think that, damn, what you got going on? Or hey, are you gonna be free this day, that day? Like, yeah, bro, no, nah, that's just real. So just think about that, man. Just continue to glow, continue to keep working on yourself. Um, you know what I'm saying? And evolve. You feel me? But other than that, it's been your boy Star. Make sure you like, share, comment down below. I'm gonna definitely see you guys on the next video. Um, podcast episode. I know I didn't drop one last week. I'm probably gonna drop one um, this week for sure, for sure. But uh, yeah, y'all boys stay up, stay safe. There's a new week coming up. Um, I would say just maintain having that tunnel vision. Honestly, I could tell y'all what to do, but once you do it for yourself, you're gonna see and understand why I'm saying what I'm saying. Okay, like for real, for real, because dog, it, life is so beautiful, bro. Life is so beautiful. All the bet, the some of the baddest bitches that you thought you didn't even have a chance with, you can actually be cool with them. Not only, not only just fucking, but you can actually pick their brains. Niggas got to stop thinking so simple and just and, and and look at females just like oh it's just like oh they just oh it's just pussy da da da. Like nah, bro, <laughs> you're, you're dealing with when you're talking to another person. It's like universes talking to each other. Like you are a mini universe yourself. You got to know that though. But now nah, I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video though. Peace.